guys this is Mission May you're watching Tech Folk and today in this video I'm going to do a review of Samsung Galaxy M30. I'm going to address that is it still the best phone under the price tag of rupees 13,000. Now do make a note that this variant is 3GB RAM 32GB storage variant that I got luckily for 9,000 rupees on Amazon. But now you will not get this variant on Amazon for 9,000 rupees. You have to get the 4GB RAM 64GB storage variant, which is priced at rupees 13,000. So I'm gonna review this phone as a 13,000 rupees smartphone. Phone is made up of plastic back panel with glass looks and available in three color variants: metallic blue, gradation black, and gradation blue. I have got the metallic blue color and had used this phone without any back cover. I haven't encountered any major scratches, but there are minute scratches on the back because of that plastic body. Now do make a note that the phone does not come with any back cover inside the box. The weight of the phone feels light and is comfortable in hand. Talking about physical overview, at the bottom you get the speaker, microphone, 3.5mm jack, on the right hand side, you get unlock button and volume rockers which feel tactile. On the top, there is noise cancellation microphone and on the left hand side, there is a SIM tray which has a dedicated micro SD card slot. There is no camera bump on the back and camera has a cool little ring inside which looks nice. Fingerprint scanner is placed on the back which is pretty responsive and unlocks the phone faster. Overall, the phone is practically in use but looks outdated if we compare it with Realme 6 or Samsung Galaxy M21. The best thing of this phone is its display. It has got a 6.4 inches Super AMOLED panel with Full HD Plus resolution. Now we know that Samsung makes one of the best Super AMOLED displays and M30 is not an exception. Colors are punchy, blacks are deep, contrast, saturation, sharpness is on point. The chin is little thick but manageable. It has got a water drop notch which is really tiny. Overall the display of the phone is really awesome than the competition. Now the place where M30 falls behind is its processor. It has got an Exynos 7904 processor which is based on 14nm fabrication technology. Day to day tasks like checking mails, replying to messages, watching videos etc. The phone performs good but it cannot handle high end tasks like video rendering, playing games like PUBG, Asphalt etc. And falls behind the processor like the Helio G90T or Exynos 9611. But the performance is boosted with the One UI update. The experience with One UI on M30 is pretty good and enjoyable. One UI enables you with ton of customization options and it also clutter free but still processor wide it's average for the price. Now talking about cameras, it has got a triple camera setup on the back and single camera on the front. Talking about rear camera first, the primary camera is of 13 megapixel, ultra wide camera is of 5 megapixel and depth sensor is of 5 megapixel as well. Looking at the samples from rear camera, colors are natural, photos look pleasing but sometimes photos look blurry because clarity is also not so high end. Talking about ultra wide angle shots. Again, colors, saturations are on point, but the image looks washed out, though dynamic range is maintained pretty well. Talking about the video samples, colors, saturation, everything is just on point, but there is no stabilization in both of the cameras. The thing which I liked about the camera is the portrait mode. Edge detection is maintained pretty well and background blur looks natural and deep. Talking about front camera sample, colors are good. Skin tone is maintained well, sharpness is also good, portrait selfies also look good in my opinion. Overall, it's a decent camera package for the price. Now moving to the battery department, M30 has got some advantages. It has got a 5000mAh battery inside which will easily last you one and a half day or two days if you are a light user. One UI is not a heavy skin so it will not drain the battery faster. But the thing which disappointed me was its charging speed. It has got a 15 watt charger inside box which will easily take 2 to 3 hours to charge your phone. Honestly I think that they should have given a 18 watt charger instead of 15 watt. 
Now moving to the conclusion that should you still get the Samsung M30 at the price tag of rupees 13,000. I would say if you just want a Samsung phone because of brand value then you should go for Samsung M21 because it has got a little better processor, 48 megapixel cameras, much bigger 6000 mAh battery and it's 300 rupees cheaper than M30. You should get the M30 only if you get a 3GB RAM 32GB storage variant under rupees 10,000 just like I have got it. But if you don't care about brand value and just want to get the best smartphone under 14,000 or 13,000, I would suggest to go for Realme 6. That's it for this video guys. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.